A good friend of mine asked a great question the other day about how Perseverance, or basically rovers and spacecrafts at Mars, speak to us on Earth. To communicate in space is quite a daunting task. It's actually a challenge. It's not like lifting a phone and, and you know, call up your friends and then you just speak like normal, no delays whatsoever. I think this problem is well known, but technical challenges remain because you want to have a better uh, data transfer and all that these days because you have a lot of images even sounds from Mars will be also uh, generated uh, through the new Mars microphone and, and all that so basically um, everything is physics right so the maximum speed limit that you you can attain in the universe is the speed of light 300,000 kilometers um, uh, per second so it may be between 4 minutes when Mars is at the closest or 24 minutes when Mars is at the furthest uh, distance and then you have to multiply by two. So the delay is quite huge if you want to talk directly. But again, uh, those rovers and, and spacecraft are quite smart. I think you give them the commands and then they do their things and you get back what you want or you expect. Let's put it this way. Um, in order to communicate with space, you just send out electromagnetic waves as usual. Uh, but because of the distance, you can never expect to send very strong signals. So you usually get weak signal coming from space and NASA and, and other countries that have space programs and all that have their own so-called deep space network. Uh, but let's talk about NASA because that's where there's a lot of information. NASA has a deep space network, DSN, uh, in three locations. One is in Southern California called Goldstone. Uh, the second one is in Madrid or outside Madrid, Spain. And the third one in, in Canberra. Having said that, there are three locations and, and somehow they cover 360 degrees because the Earth rotates, and, and each, uh, in each location you have antennas, many of them, and some of them um, are as large as 70 meters in diameter, so they are like ears that cover 120 degrees, and three of them would be 360 degrees, so no matter how the signal comes from Mars, it will be captured by one of these. And if NASA had other systems on Earth to capture signal from Mars, Mars that I don't know. But as far as I know, uh, what they do now from Mars is usually not a direct link. You can also send direct um, uh, signals from c Curiosity and, and Perseverance, but I think they do a relay. Uh, the relaying uh, is done through uh, three or four, I think, uh, Mars orbiters, like satellites that fly in the orbits of Mars, um, that NASA already put in as infrastructure, communication infrastructure, and that would enable them to send, uh, you know, um, a good bandwidth of data back to Earth directly uh, from Perseverance or uh, Curiosity when they beam the signal at Earth. Uh, you, you can get some information, but I think the bandwidth is very limited. So um, you do the relaying with the help of the orbiters as mentioned three or four that United States uh, operate and other countries that do have orbiters in Mars like uh, around around Mars, China, the United Arab Emirates, uh, European and Russian all together and India too. So basically this is an interesting uh, era that you can uh, do uh, communications with Mars in an, in an awesome way but uh, no matter how we try we will have problem with the delay and uh, one thing to mention though is that these antennas are huge and very sensitive because the signals get very weak when it comes from Mars as uh, you know in physics intensity of radiation is uh, inversely proportional to the distance so it's like 1 over r squared uh, so the longer the distance the weaker the signals get so that's why you need to have uh, these super huge antennas uh, that I mentioned yeah hopefully that uh, explains a little bit about how you communicate in deep space or from deep space uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned. I'm sure NASA is going to show their new technology with laser communication in, in space pretty soon. And until then, a lot of awesome things will happen.